Tom, it's probably a good idea to start by defining just what sort of a band Celtic Frost is, or at least what sort of a band you think Celtic Frost is. You've been called a lot of names from black metal through to death metal, but how would you describe the band's music? Well, we as a band, we hate all these cliches like black metal, death metal, you know. But um, if you want to have one of these cliches, I think death metal would be closest. Or as they now call us, avant-garde metal, like something new in, in the heavy metal scene. That's what we like to be called. But basically, we're just a heavy rock band, and we're trying to be a bit different, like with, with some different ideas, like all the other heavy metal bands. Yeah, would you say that you're into Satanism or the satanic <laughs> side at all? Because, yeah, but, but your bass player, Martin Eric Hain, is interested in, in the occult. He's not interested in Satanism. That's different. Occultism is not Satanism. It, it uh, encloses all the uh, religious directions. And, uh, yeah, he knows about all that stuff quite well, not only about Satanism, and he's not practicing Satanism at home or stuff, you know. Yeah, but I understand that at Martin's house at Zurich in Switzerland, where Celtic Frost is based, he has a black room. You only, room. Know, yeah, you which... only know the black room, of course, yeah, because right. it's world famous. It sounds fairly but obvious, he has, but he has some, some quite normal rooms in his house also. But what sort of things go on in the black room? Um, basically things uh, not to be told on TV, because this program is also for people, you know, younger than 18. Well, we'll move on then. But yourself and Martin were previously in a band called Hellhammer, and the name implies the what kind of satanic link yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we uh, split from Hellhammer and uh, found a new band. Um, I don't know how well you know the last Hellhammer record, and uh, if you know it, you know that the lyrics were already away from satanism very far. We had even some songs against satanism because mm. we were never satanists. I mean, look at me. <laughs> I'm a guy having fun of life, you know. And... Uh, yeah, that's not our style. Well, Celtic Frost have often been compared to, to Venom in the past, but I, was, Sadly. <laughs> yeah, but I would say, having seen your first show in London last night, you're far closer to Black Sabbath, or a modern-day yeah, version yeah, of Black yeah, Sabbath. Yeah, yeah, Is that a fair definitely. description? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, well, we're not Sabbath, Sabbath clones, I hope we're original enough, but uh, I've started heavy metal with Black Sabbath, personally, and I always liked Black Sabbath, you know, and, uh, yeah, I think if you want to compare us again, Black Sabbath will be okay. Okay, so Black Sabbath are one influence, but I gather Frank Sinatra is another influence in <laughs> Celtic Frost. I can't pick up much of his, much elements of Frank Sinatra in your music. Yeah, though, this is not for the hardcore fans now. <laughs> <laughs> They've all turned off. No, I mean, point, yes. I guess we all have uh, wide musical horizons. And uh, like our drummer Reed, he has studied classical music. He's played in jazz fusion bands and classical orchestras. Mm. But he has played uh, heavy metal all his life. And my first love has always been heavy metal, but uh, I listened quite a lot to swing, chess, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff, and also Martin listens to other kinds of music, so maybe that's the reason why we have a bit of different style, because we try to include that in Sally Frost sound. So do you think it's possible that we could see a cover version of a Frank Sinatra song on the next album? We wanted to do that, but, but uh, the band Megadeth from the United States, right. they did that version of Nancy Sinatra, Lee Hazelwood, so we had to drop the idea because everybody would have uh, thought that we copied them. But we most probably do a cover version of Dean Martin on the next record. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe we can talk a bit about that next album now. Have you decided on a title for that record yet? Um, yeah, we uh, have a big band concept. It's going to uh, some two years in the future. And we know all the titles and uh, the covers already. And the next album will be called uh, Into the Pandemonium, which means Into the Hell. Mm. And it's, again, the band's concept of the apocalypse, you know, and uh, the basic concept of the album will be the last days of Babylon. But it's not only about Babylon, it's just a, a symbol for the theme on the album. Mm. Yeah, we'll have probably ten songs and uh, Gabe Fultzleaf, like the last one, with some real off work. Right, so do you think on the next album we'll see Celtic Frost working with a big name, recognised producer? Because yeah, having heard we're your looking last, at that, yeah. Having heard the current album, Two Mega Theory on, I don't think it's really got the power that the band has live. We yeah, need to bring yeah, that out yeah, more. Definitely. We are very unhappy with the production. Very happy with the songs. Yeah, uh, yeah, the concept on to make a theory and then to cover and everything. What we think uh, a lot was live production. We were really under, and it ended really in a bad situation in the studio. I know you're thinking of adding another member to the band, a lead guitar. Will he be in That's the band? That's not true. <laughs> no, I can't believe it is true. Will he be in the band by the time you record that next album, do you think? Yeah, we want to definitely have the second guitarist before the next album. We even planned something before the U.S. tour, but that didn't come together because we were checking out a lot of guys because we want to have the permanent member, like we found in Reed. We were looking for a drummer like for four months. Right. You know. 
Okay, so you, you, you've just played in Europe at the moment. What's next? You're going to go over to the States and tour there? Yeah, we finished this, this big, endless, tragic serenade tour, which we started in, in Canada. And we, uh, we were just playing Europe now. And we go over to end it in the States with about 30 to 40 dates. And the end of the tour is again in Canada. Okay, well, thanks for stopping by today, Tom, and we can see Celtic Frost in action now. This is a video for Circle of the Tyrants. Oh, God. All I can say is long live death, I think.